Good morning um, and happy Wednesday. Um, as you can see, I am in the car and that is because I am heading up to Glasgow to the fertility clinic um, because it is my first follicle scan to see if my ovaries are being, uh, you know, are being good, are being uh, reactive and are producing follicles. Um, the follicles obviously would contain the eggs. Um, so very, very brief history. Um, the first time I tried this, I had one follicle in each ovary and then um, after the second scan, they shrunk and we had to call time on that round of IVF. Last time I done this, I got three follicles in each ovary, but when it came to collection, my left ovary went into hiding. Didn't want to be found. So they only actually managed to get three follicles out of the right ovary, which was three eggs. Those three eggs were all fertilized, but only one was good for transfer. Uh, it did transfer, it did get it did implant. Um, I did fall pregnant, but I had a very early miscarriage um, or a chemical pregnancy, however you want to put it. And uh, so yeah, so here we go again. Um, I'm trying again, and I would love it if there was more than three over, more than three follicles in each ovary and if my left ovary has overcome its camera shyness and it is able to be found but it is a foggy day um, driving conditions aren't the greatest um, I do believe up in Glasgow there is snow it is minus four at the minute um, and it is pretty foggy so I'm gonna knock the camera off and concentrate more on driving which makes sense so um, a couple hours drive up to Glasgow and then time for my follicle scan. So I have arrived at the clinic and it actually wasn't too bad to drive up after all. Um, there was a couple of foggy moments but it was actually quite pretty looking at all the snow around. Um, we haven't got snow in Carlisle but we have got snow here. Um, not a lot of snow but coming through the hills and everything it was quite pretty to look at for a change. It's usually such a boring drive, I hate this drive but yeah, I enjoyed that drive today. Um, it's probably more to do with the fact that what I'm coming here for and that I'm keeping everything crossed that things go well when I go in there. Um, but before I do head home, I'm going to have to nip to B&M's. I know there's one quite close to here because my washer bottle, uh, my screen wash bottle is empty and um, it kind of needs cleaned. That's a bit, yeah. So I'm going to have to nip to B&M and then do uh, fill up my screen wash before I drive back because with it being so cold, although it's not as cold here, believe it or not, even though there's snow here, it's only minus one. Um, the gritters have been out on the road, so I need my washer bottle filled. So I'm going to have to do that before I go home. But before I can do any of that, I am praying that I've got lots of little follicles just sort of waiting to be collected. Uh, or developing it the, the way they should be so but I'm not going to find out until I go in so here goes see two mm -hmm. so still fairly wee okay Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, so I'm kind of following your fallopian tube just to see mm -hmm. where it'll take me, and this is kind of where it's taking me. And the appointment is over. So my pesky left ovary was in hiding again. Um, I hate my left ovary, it's always in hiding. So they found um, two two, I don't want to say big because they weren't big, but there was two definite follicles in the right ovary and then a smaller one, so there's three, but one was tiny. Um, so not as many as I was hoping for. Um, such a disappointment. No, don't be disappointed. You just need one, you just need one, but 
yeah uh, I'm back on Friday for another scan to hopefully to see if they're getting bigger but just doing a little bit really so and, a, and and left my left ovary is just camera shy and it's so annoying I know I've got another one but it, uh, so annoying anyway I am going to head to b &M and get some screen wash for this car because I cannot drive back down to Carlisle if I can't see through my windscreen so anyway uh, not what I wanted to hear I can see on my front windscreen again um, although I can't actually see much because of the sun shining now but I have caved and I've decided to visit the Colonel and get some chicken for my dinner because uh, Carlisle's KFC is um, the one that we did have is closed down and they are in the midst of building a new one so I haven't had KFC for quite some time so I figured why the heck not but while I was in b &M, being the coke addict that I am I picked up um, some Diet Coke back there just eight bottles just 24 litres it's not much um, but I also found these coca-cola air fresheners for the car because my air fresheners kind of run out so I thought being a coke addict why the heck not so just waiting for me chicken eat that head home and uh, just digest the news that it wasn't what I wanted it to be but keep my fingers crossed that it uh, you know you only need one so anyway wait for my chicken okay so I am like five minutes from my house and the clinic have actually just called me um, my blood have already came back they took blood today as well as doing the scan and my blood levels have come back lower than they need to be um, lower than they would expect at this stage um, I'm not surprised after that scan I had a feeling something wasn't quite right um, the plan is though I'm gonna go in today I'm gonna to have my shot as normal have my shot tomorrow and then tomorrow uh, on Friday sorry day after tomorrow I'm keeping my appointment and we're going to do repeat bloods and um, repeat scan but I've got a feeling that this cycle is going to get scratched again um, yeah which means buying more drugs yet yeah, again but yeah, I have a feeling that this cycle is going to be scratched, which is a shame. If it is scratched, I will be going back on my diet. I have put on so much weight over Christmas or from holiday. I need to go back on my diet. Um, I haven't bothered yet because I thought I was hoping I was going to get pregnant. But yeah, damn it. It's not what I was wanting, not what I was expecting. Um, I don't know, some miracle might happen and my hormones might kick in in the next day, but I, I'm pretty certain that this cycle is going to be scratched. I won't know until Friday though, but I'm going to go home and get in my bed and sulk and watch Ali McBeal and uh, play on The Sims 3, drink some Diet Coke and then just uh, let this news sink in and get prepared, ready for Friday. But my positivity has taken a bit of a knock <laughs> and uh, we'll see. I ain't getting any younger. It's only going to get harder from here on out. So, oh, shame. I'm going home. Well, at least with any degree of persuasion. Well, doesn't it have to make sense? Oh, and then the best thing's done, do they? It's snowing. And Alicia's peeing. I don't like snow. What's it doing, Alicia? Is it snowing? <laughs> Noisy. 
So it seems winter has finally hit Carlisle. So, oh, let's just sit down. Everywhere else in the country's had snow until now. And now we've got it. Hopefully it won't lie. Um, because it makes walking with sticks so much more awkward and so much more dangerous. Um, but if it does, I am lucky in that the guys at the office tend to watch out for me getting in to the car park and then someone comes out and walks in with me. But fingers crossed it won't lie. But yeah, winter's finally hit Carlisle. So I'm getting settled down for the night. It's quarter to nine. And um, my mum comes up and she goes, well, your sister's had a nice birthday. With everything else that's happened today, I completely forgot it was her birthday. That's terrible. I mean, I've got her card here. I haven't filled it in yet. It's, it says, hey, sister, the secret of staying young is the careful use of makeup. Make up an age and stick to it. Happy birthday. So yeah, I've got her card, but I just completely forgot. Terrible sister. Damn. Never mind. I don't get paid till Friday, so I was going to get her a present then anyway. But yeah, I've just rang her to say, Hi, happy birthday. I'm sorry I forgot. <sighs> Naughty girl I am. Anyway, I am, like I said, settling down for the night. Um, I am disappointed how today's gone. I was certain. I just I felt everything was going to work this time. And my body has let me down again. Which is no surprise, really. I shouldn't be surprised. It's no uh, nothing new. It, it's part of the course with my body. It's always letting me down. But um, yeah, I am going to head to bed, and I think I was trying to figure out: Do I want my hormones to kick in tomorrow and levels to go up, or do I want to just scratch this? And I think I'm probably just going to scratch this because. This is the last one I've got paid for. The last, so the next egg trans, the egg, ex, egg recovery and egg transfer, embryo transfers, are the last I've already got paid for, and I can't afford subsequent cycles. Plus, I don't want to go through and t take what could be two possible eggs, waste the baby juice that's in the freezer up there, um, because that's hard to pay for again. So anyway. <sighs> have to wait and see what happens on Friday. But I have a feeling plans, I'm already putting plans in to go back on my diet, start going swimming, focus on my uni work, um, wait for my period and start again. Save up the money to get the extra drugs and start again. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up and push on that subscribe button. Um, I don't know what, well, the next one's obviously going to be on Friday when I go back for this next scan. I don't know what it's going to be. I have a feeling, I, actually, no, that's not true. I have a feeling I know what it is going to be like, that vlog. But we'll soon see on Friday. So anyway, until next time, keep safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.